Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My, is, my name is Randy Miller, and uh, today I'm in North Carolina. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to be wrapping this uh, beam. And I'm actually at uh, Bull City Designs in North Carolina. And uh, we're going to be wrapping these beams with the Dynock, or actually the Bell Beam material. And this Bell, Bell Beam material is a wood grain. We got two different kinds of wood grains. This is the SW127. And you can go to armwrapsstore.com uh, website and you can type in those. You can see it right here. Hopefully, this qual uh, video quality is good. I'm just testing it out right now. And uh, so, uh, what you're seeing right here is actually a red putty. And we are uh, going to wrap this. Make sure everything is nice and flesh and level. And so we red putty this right here uh, to make it nice and flesh and level. And then we're going to uh, make it look like this guy right over here. And bear with me, I'm not all with it. A long day and trying to get this thing organized. So all I did is I cleaned this really good with rubbing alcohol and um, pre-cut all of the vinyls over here. The tools I use to uh, cut all this stuff, uh, I always highly recommend using um, the yellow tools for the vinyl cutters. So right here, this is actually called a bodyguard. bodyguard. Also, this is a bodyguard uh, double. This is what I'm going to show you real quick uh, when I'm cutting this. So everything is I did is pre-cut everything uh, to size, almost to size. I usually use two inches on each side and uh, two inches on all around here. We're not going to do the back side because it's going to go against the wall. And before I, I did this, I used a primary 94 right here around the edges so that just makes it uh, the vinyl bond a little bit better on here so right now I'm gonna be using the bodyguard from Yule Tools double cutter and what I'm gonna do is what I call is tacking it on okay and if you got any comments or questions comment down below and if you got projects like this let us know you can always call me at 208-696 1180. Also, email me at rmraps at gmail.com and you can tell me what you're looking for and what's the projects. Um, this one's a pretty large project, so we're um, I'm going to do I'm doing it at the manufacturing company right here and they're going to be shipping it to another state, but we're going to do it here. It's a nice, clean environment. And um, they just said it's a lot easier just for me to come over here and install it. So right now I got about a quarter inch lift over here, about two inches here, two inches here. I'm going to be wrapping it all the way around. And so when I'm using the bodyguard knife, the double cutter, it's just basically tacked it on, so it's on there. And uh, anytime you order a full roll of Belbian, it uh, always comes with a squeegee. So this is kind of a, a clear, it's, it's hard but soft. It's like a, almost feels like a wax squeegee. Anytime I, I do mass quantity stuff like this, I have a, a manufacturing mode to get into. All the scraps go down below, or the leftover backing paper down here, and all the material that we have or pre-cut is still good is over here and all the rolls there's like 15 rolls over here and these are over here is going to be wrapped so everything is like in a manufacturing uh, state so on this material they wanted uh, to wrap with this kind of wood grain and there's literally hundreds of different kind of wood grains they can choose from And this stuff is like on uh, air release vinyl material. So you can get the air bubbles out. And if you mess up, you can pull it off. The longer it sits, the stickier it gets. And if you see any air bubbles in there, uh, you can actually, it's right in the middle of this, and it's really big, you can just 
use a little bit of heat gun or just use the, your knife and pop it and it'll pop it right out. Okay, on this one right here, we're gonna flip it this way. I'm gonna take my knife. Again, this side is actually going towards the wall, so it's not a big deal. And a lot of times I use uh, the little leftover scraps. I put it right here in the corner. But this is actually the alternative. Uh, if you want something, if you want to change something, even if the subject's been on the wall for years, or uh, video I, I can show you. I'm doing like a like a 30 degree or 45 degree angle so I'm forcing the air bubbles this way and I like to the feeling I can feel all the air bubbles if there's any air bubbles on there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger yeah I can't really move it here let's do this right here see that I'll zoom in a little bit more so now I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to crease my finger about an inch going in so now I know that the edges are pretty good I mean nice sharp edges right here Now the vinyl is lifting up a little bit because of the backing, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my squeegee now. Let's move this over a little bit better. And we're back here. Okay. I'll pull the backing out a little bit more. So the vinyl is kind of relaxed. And just I usually just take my time. Don't don't be in a rush. So on jobs like this, if you want to uh, if you need to help installing this or uh, Uh, you, you can uh, order the material through us or you can order if you already have the material not a big deal the name of the game is getting this thing getting your project done and so if you want to hire me just to do uh, one job and I'll train your employees how to do this uh, it's up to you or if you just want to get it done and get it over with do that so you can see how if you get a little air bubble or crease I got a crease right there uh, you just snap it up there's little techniques to know when you're doing this kind of stuff so this is the way I do it everyone does their job differently but again if you got projects like this and if you want to if you're doing a remodel if you're doing upscale or uh, just want to update the look of whatever you want to wrap like the kitchen wraps or uh, the uh, panels or all kinds of things Sometimes the Primer 94 really sticks. <laughs> I was trying to lift that up, but I think luckily I got all the, the bear bubbles out.
Hast du. So you can kind of see how fast this is, and I got longer ones right over there. Uh, this is uh, 66 inches long. Okay. Where is my knife? And again, there's. This is going to be towards the wall. I like to keep everything in organized and clean areas, so everything has its own place. So if you're looking for something like this, uh, I highly recommend getting a clean room like this room, because this is actually a workshop out there. It's a wood workshop. So just highly recommend if you're gonna hire me or the crew, Definitely get a clean room. Okay. We are all done. It didn't take too long. Uh, the long part was getting everything cleaned, uh, red puttied, and organized before we started. So that's, that's that right there. So I made... Uh, the MDF boards look like a real wood or white wood subjects. So let's get a little closer. Let me see if I can take this thing off real quick. So you can kind of see the end product. So those right there are much longer. Probably double, yeah, double the size of this one. All right, tell me guys what you think. Uh, if you're looking for projects like this, uh, for us to wrap or even to, just the vinyl, you can go to armwrapstore.com, check out hundreds of different kind of vinyls there. This is actually the Belbian vinyl, wood grain. Again, it's uh, sideways, it's SW127, and this right here is gonna be SW140, and it's gonna be that wood, wood grain right there and it's going to go on much bigger beams outside these are just the, the wall beams they're going to be ceiling beams too so yep again contact me at rmraps at gmail.com also you can always call me 208-696-1180 we can talk about your projects and everything um, stay tuned. I'm going to actually do uh, more videos on this project, especially the, the other kind of wood and uh, other things. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you don't think it's a big deal or if you're not into it, move on. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Randy Miller and stay tuned. Talk to you guys later.